You were saying something about the planet being in decline? It doesn't look like it, but Haval is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life, killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. There's so much life here, your vault must be working. In some fashion, most likely. But the monoliths are responsible for propagating the vault's instructions across the planet. With only two, out of three monoliths working, the instructions are imbalanced. So life is imbalanced. We've never tried asking the sages. There could be something in their oral history. Stars, those superstitious hermits don't care about modern Angara. You know that. You saw the projections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages, oral histories? On Mithrather, that old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back to a time just after the Scourge. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought. Basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. If asking your sages doesn't work, we'll be back here. So what's the harm in it? The trek up Mithrather's teeming with Remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the Remnant River. And keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. Yeah, so that's one of those things where it's like the old fogies are, you know, fucking idiots. I mean, I realize that there's probably a nicer way to put it, but... I mean, let's face it, that's exactly what it is. Nowadays, you know, it's not even the old fogies that are necessarily idiots. Nowadays, it's, you know, the younger generations that are fucking idiots. So, I mean... You know, potato, potato. And there's always fucking idiots. Oh shit, don't walk off there. Where is, that is, oh. Okay, so now we might be able to do something over there. Because like we can't cross that until we get a different quest. Because I think we have, yeah, this may have been what I was talking about. Uh, I guess, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about last part, where it's like, hey, we got to fix, like, the one thing, but to do that, we need to find the guy. And I want to say that the guy we need to find is one of the Rokar. And, you know, conveniently enough, he's not one of the Rokar that we've shot and killed while we've been here. And I think he just happens to be, you know, he's one of the Rokar that not only does he just happen to be on the planet that I need him to be on, um, he's also not one of the ones that I have shot while being on that planet, <laughs> you know? Uh, like, just once, I'd like, just like, it's like, oh, I mean, hey, we, you know, I realize that you've been attacking us this whole time, we've been fighting back, uh, I mean, we need to talk to this guy, it's like, yeah, you killed him on Tuesday, so, uh, I, I don't think he's gonna be doing that. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if I go, well, obviously not that way. So I'm gonna try this way, cause I don't remember how the fuck to get there. I think, cause I know that it's definitely a different way <coughs> than the, uh, uh, or maybe I just like activate something. This way? Oh, that doesn't seem right. This way. Oh, here we go. This way, I guess. Ah, here we are. Now, I don't know if I could have done anything with this, like... Got it. If I had, a uh, jump back there when I was here last time, I'm not sure if any of that would have actually, like if that console would have actually popped up for me to use. Up we go. And up again, because you know, their elevator isn't fucking working. And then across. Ah, oh, there we are, that's better. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. They also have gravity wells that uh, give this a try. do this. And we, instead of going uh, up and down, they go straight across. Which, I mean, I guess that is still a gravity well. It's just, you know, wells are generally like a thing in the ground. So you would think that a gravity well would have to do with going up and down, not, you know, across. <laughs> Yeah, so we need to get all the way to hell and gone up there. Uh, which, if I recall, does take a while, but once we make it to the top, we do get a uh, a forward station deployed up there. I don't know if we get it deployed immediately, but we definitely get one deployed up there. Which uh, means if we ever need to come back, because, I mean, like, there is a gravity well there, and you would think, hey, I mean, that'll just take us right to the top, right? I mean, one could hope. Doesn't though. And there's a lot of running around the outside of this fucking tower to uh to make it to the top. So it is really annoying because we do end up with a couple quests uh from the sages, not just this one. And if it wasn't for the uh the forward station up there. I imagine there would be a not insignificant amount of people that would just be like, you know what? Not worth it. Just, nah. Just, you know, why bother? <laughs> right? Uh, ugh. Oh. I've never been up here before. I have heard of the sages of Mithrava, but never gave them much thought. Why not? Isn't his story worthless if it isn't shared? If the accounts of our past are kept hidden, they may as well not exist at all. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That's accurate. I mean, like a story that no one knows, I mean, is insignificant. I mean, a story that no one knows isn't really a story at all, is it? All right. It's like that tree falling in the forest, right? Like, you know, you're the greatest artist in the world, but nobody ever sees your artwork. Are you really? I mean, you could be the greatest artist in the world, but, you know, if nobody ever sees your artwork or hears your story, then, I mean, like, like he said, you may as well not exist. See now. I agree with that. Now, whether or not he would agree with, like, shit that's happening in real life right now, I don't know. Where people are digging up stories that should have just stayed gone anyway. Because there's no need Looks to like bring them back the up. But, you know, that's not what people like to do. The stories that people are in, like, the histories and that. that uh, people should be remembering, they don't, and then the histories and that that have no reason to be remembered are what people's fucking dragging up, right? Okay, so let's see here. Now, obviously we gotta jump across, but I wanna make sure I got, or we at least we can jump across. Right? I think that was a whole I see that. Oh, you know what? I bet you I was supposed to jump up this side to get here to jump over. Yeah. See. See, that's the thing with, like, the jumping puzzles in this game is because, like, of the way the world is laid out and designed, um, there's quite a few times where, like, I'll do a jumping puzzle. Like, I'll make it to, like, the, I guess, reward of the jumping puzzle. And then, like, I'll see something like that, and it's like, oh, but I have to do this now for something else. But really, it was just that was the correct way to do it. I don't even know what the hell I'm... Oh, I think because my game froze a little bit. No. Uh, but yeah, since, you know, there is... 
quite a bit of, uh, or quite a few ways generally to get around these areas. That's it for now. Good. Uh, there's usually more than one way to uh, make it to the end of something. Like, there's always going to be a path that the uh, developers, or the level designers anyway, have uh, put in specifically like, hey, this is the path to take. But then there's quite a few times uh, where there's other ways to do it. Uh, which is good. You know, like the incidental like ways to do something. It's always good. It's always fun whenever like you find a way to do something. I like to find ways to do that in games to get to like areas I'm not supposed to be in yet, you know? I'll do that and then like, you know, I'll beat my head against the wall for like an hour trying to kill something that I'm not supposed to even be fighting yet. But it's like, I mean, I made it here, right? I mean, I'm gonna fucking do it. I mean, I spend an hour beating my head against the wall to kill the thing, but then it usually drops something that's like really fucking good that I also shouldn't have at the point of the game that I'm at. And then, you know, it just lets me roll through the rest of the game. It's like, haha. It's like, I'll do one super challenging thing, like, early on, so that, like, the rest of the game just isn't a challenge at all, basically. <laughs> Unfortunately, since we're only doing half-hour parts this week, we're going to get very little done. Like, Mass Effect is not a game that you really want to be playing for a half-hour at a time. Oh, is that it? Oh, look at that. I honestly thought there was, like, one more section. How is that possible? An alien? I'm Ryder. Pathfinder with the Andromeda Initiative, from the Milky Way galaxy. That does not explain how or why you are able to operate the remnant doors. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it, reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Havarl could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On Mithrava, we have accepted Haval's eventual ruin. You're just giving up on your planet? Isn't this your birthplace? Don't you want to save it? A chasm separates want from can. What you ask, no one can give. The memory of the monolith resides within a thread that has slipped from our grasp. I'm not sure I follow. We believe in reincarnation. An unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai, a champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you. Zorai's soul was reborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Hmm, that'll be difficult. That's why you're here, Jal. They won't like that I'm helping you. This may be a dead end, but we have to try. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now, there is hope. All right, so let's see now. Our drop pod. Automated. Oh, let's get that going. Deploying forward station. Hey, Jarve, what's up? Can I act? Okay. Ah, uh, good. I wanted to talk with you. How are you able to use the remnant? With an artificial intelligence that helps with analysis and translation. So that's the trick. I wouldn't have guessed. I'm 
Angara, who live close to remnant technology, sometimes learn how to use specific tech. It requires intense concentration, and even if we can make it work, we've never understood how it works. So some of you can use remnant tech, but you don't know how it works? Not all remnant tech, no. Like I said, specific pieces. Take Mithrava, for example. Some of us can operate the security that protects the sanctuary. The knowledge was passed down through generations. In my case, it took a year to learn how to open a simple door. The difference between knowing you can eat a tree's fruit and understanding why that tree bears fruit. That's, yeah, I got I it. Be going. Suit yourself. It's the same with like people who use the internet, right? It's like knowing how to use the internet and knowing how the internet works. Two very different things. All right. So I guess since we're going back into remnant stuff, although we're, um, you know what? I got to keep draw with me because of where we are, but we need to recover a piece of tech from the remnant and then get a guy out of, okay, so Liam seems like he'd be a good fit for that, right? Crisis specialist. Uh, retrieval and whatnot. All right, let's see. There's an inscription here that I skipped. Uh, history is breath. It moves through us, gives us life like breath. It cannot be caught in a glass. So I've decided that once in every 50 cycles of our sun, we would reach out to the archivist in Aya, Aya to renew our knowledge of our people. Thus, we remember. So they basically, it's all an oral history, like any, like all the history of the Angaran race. Um, is just passed from person to person here, but they refuse to give anybody else that history to write it down because they believe that uh, anybody writing it down will change it to suit their own specific needs and biases, right? Which, to be fair, is, you know, what happens. I mean, history changes. It's, you know, what happened... Uh, like, obviously, history is history. Like, no matter what, history itself doesn't change, but the perception of that history is what changed. Say, hey, there's a memory trigger up here. I forgot that one was there. Another memory trigger? Yes. Oh, my okay. memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Yeah, okay. As certain is, it's harder to face the possibility that I might never see Amada again. Sorry to interrupt, but what's happened? Ahmad is ill. He hasn't got much time left. Ahmad, perhaps this stranger can help. If they've been to Palev, maybe they've seen something. I came from Palev, actually. The little research station? Research station? It used to be a large settlement. A dar. Amara moved them when she left Mithrava. Palev was overtaken by the jungle, remember? A few cycles ago, everyone left. Oh, yes. I remember now. But that means Amara's gone. There might still be a way to track her down. All Dara keep records, don't they? If there was an organized evacuation, they would have documented the process. And the records would state where she went. Pala, that's genius. Where would they keep those records? Likely some kind of administrative building. If it still stands, and the machines still work, it's a slim hope. I don't want to impose, stranger, but I would welcome any news of my sister. Yeah, so that one we can't do yet because we need to get over into the uh, Rokar compound to do that one. Uh, which one are you? Mithrava? Oh, just Sage, okay. Fine, fuck you too. Hey Sage Fleury, you're nicer. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. And yet you're still here. As I was saying, the propulsion system that took Bashal to the skies was inspired by four remnant pieces. And that's just one. Much of our progress was prompted by the discovery of remnant artifacts. Where are these artifacts you're talking about? The few that still exist reside in Aya's repository. However, 
Many have been lost. Though there are rumors that as wilds grow wilder, things long buried may be unearthed. You believe the Angara learned crucial scientific ideas from the Remnant? It is not just belief. It is a matter of record. Some artifacts were even left in unfinished states, likely to demonstrate how they were put together. Or the people putting it together just hadn't finished that particular piece. That'd be my I think guess. I'll leave you to your lesson. About time. Unearth weapon devices on Havar. Right, I forgot that that was a whole quest as well. Yeah, let's see if I can. Ah, uh, damn it. All right. Do, 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 do. There we go. Planet surface. Oh, right. Now I remember. To the Remnant Abyss. Oh, right. Okay, how long we got? Oh, we're already at that. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, lost sister. Yeah, that's fine. Go location. As Miss mentioned. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I guess I don't really need those, do I? Oh, wait. Why the hell do I have that? I haven't even been on the Nexus in a while. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that should probably be underneath here. Here it is. Unearthed. So we'll do this one because this one here is kind of annoying. Because none of these are marked on the map. So we actually have to just like find them. Okay, so yeah, there are 21 devices. Okay, so even this thing doesn't actually tell me where all of them are. Um, but basically, there are things all around the map that uh, that will give you research data. Uh, and then you need eight of them to complete the quest. But there's 21 of them total. And you can get up to 560 remnant research data, which is a great. Um, Anyway, oh, whoops. Yeah, so there's 21 of them. Like I said, there's, uh, you only need eight to complete the task. But uh, if you get all of them, that's 560 research, which is really fucking useful, especially since it's remnant research. And uh, the best way, what the fuck, there it is. It's like, what the hell weighs the Tempest? Um, and the best way to get most of them uh, is to go around the outside edge of the map. And since we've only got a few minutes left, I figure we can try and track down at least eight of them to complete the quest. Uh, okay, let's see, where are we on the map? There. Tempest behind us, so there should be one. But yeah, they're all on like I can't remember, I want to say that you follow around the outside edge of the map and uh, and I don't remember if they pop up on your scanner or not. Um, 
or if it's like uh, look around like the outside edge of the map for like oh there you go an unearthed remnant device haha -ha. this must be what it was like for those ancient Angara finding strange things in the wilds it's possible we could discover something new from what you found we should take it for further analysis yeah so like I said there's probably one of them um according to this thing for uh, there's three different kinds that each give like a different amount of uh, research data. So like there's those ones that give 15. Then there's another one that gives uh, 50 actually, which is obviously where most of them come from. Uh, it is a little bit around here. It's obviously not going to be up on this platform. But it does buzz your, uh, I think they're all on like little roots like that. And it does buzz your scanner when you get close to one. You may be able to spot them from a little bit of a distance. But they are rather annoying to find, I'm not going to lie. And say they aren't because they are... This is a very annoying quest. It is one that I think without actively searching for them and just like exploring and doing other shit on the planet, I managed to get, I wanna say I only got like six of them. So then I had to look up where the rest were, but I don't, I mean, like I said, I remember that a lot of them were around the outside edge of the map. And I don't remember if, like, enemies had any real bearing on whether or not there was one nearby. How long? Ah, 27 minutes. Like, they're supposed to be on. Like, I do have a map up, but it only shows fucking eight of them because that's all it requires for the fucking mission. And it would much. So, you know, there could very well be one that's. Or ones that are. Oh, here we go. It's so like when they're sparking like that, right? Historians believe much of our progress was spurred by such finds. We might benefit from collecting these artifacts. Yeah. But yeah, it's not... It's... I was going to say it's not the best of quests, but at the same time, it's not really... It's not necessarily a bad quest. It's only really a bad quest if you're doing like I'm doing right now and focusing on it and being like, I want to get this Enemies. particular quest done. Nice work. Um, like that's the only time where it's like kind of annoying just because like obviously, you know, they're all over the place. And as long as you explore, as long as you're keeping your eyes out while you explore, and you notice like the little sparks and whatnot. Good find, Pathfinder. Uh, it's generally not too bad. Okay, so that would have been that one. So the next one would have been past whatever the hell those green dots are. Which maybe remnant, maybe just some passive creatures. Or not that there's that many of those on this planet. Um, but yeah, there may be a point where I will go for the rest of them. Like, try and get all 21 to get the extra remnant research. It's so like I said, that is my armor. And because of the way that the research works for stuff like that, you need quite a bit. Because, like, to get the best piece of an armor, or, and I think it works like that for weapons too, is you have, like, the base one that you research. And then once you have fully researched that, you actually unlock the research for like a better one which has its own you know obviously research requirements oh well, it's around here somewhere oh there it is and pick up interesting and then there's another one like i said just go and buy this map that i'm looking at but anyway you know what? You don't get anything for this. They just give you like a very tiny amount of dialogue each time you pick one up and it really means nothing. 
So I'll actually try and find a better map for one thing and then just pick up the rest of these Stuff before like I start my next recording. And then we'll start by going in to get the um, whatever it is we need to get to trigger the guy's memories. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you Saturday for more.